How are you doing, Julia? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thanks. I literally finished the movie about half an hour ago. I thought it was fantastic. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's very fresh in the mind. Um, I mean, obviously, the, the film, I mean, it's a kind of familiar landscape, the kind of 70s road movie. We've seen it. It's ingrained in kind of the, the sort of fabric of cinematic history. But we haven't seen it with protagonists like this. Usually the leading role in a film like this is a white man. I was just wondering about if that was what inspired you, really, to, to tell this story, to, to, to go into a very familiar kind of cinematic setting, but tackle it from a completely new perspective. A hundred percent. So I'm glad that that was what you got from it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love all of those movies and feel they are ingrained in me too. I've watched them all over and over again over the years. And as much as I love them, they never quite told the story that I was most interested in, which was the woman's story. Um, and so I thought it would be cool to just go ahead and make that version of it. Of course, I mean, you wrote the screenplay with your, your husband. I mean, I can't write a shopping list with my wife. <laughs> how did you, how, was that, what was that kind of experience like? And I mean, I, I know you've sort of done it before, but just collaborating in that way. At the end of a kind of day's work, did you almost have to push it to one side and focus on other stuff? Or did you let it kind of infect every, every aspect of your lives during that process? You kind of have to just let it infect <laughs> all of the aspects of your life because it is uncontainable, right? Like, creativity and inspiration have no interest in containment. And so if you fight it, I think it leads to some unhappy marital moments. And when we just embrace it and let it take over, it's actually really wonderful because you're just getting to experience creativity and marriage and parenthood kind of all mixed together. Of course, one of the leading themes in this and from Arinze's uh, perspective is, is the black experience in America in the 1970s. And obviously, as writers, you can do extensive research, search, but there's some things obviously you will never be able to understand. So I just wondered how you went about kind of um, sort of getting to understand what, what it was like. And if you spoke to people to kind of help craft that character and that whole kind of side of the narrative. I think it's really important as white creators to know when to step back and when to lean in. And I also think it's important for us as white creators to tell inclusive stories, to not be afraid to include characters whose perspectives we may not have experienced. But as you said, between research and thorough uh, rehearsal and rewriting with our black actors, it can make a huge difference to the story. I'm not really interested in watching a movie with a bunch of white characters. I think seeing a movie with people of different races and genders and ages and backgrounds is so much more interesting because, you know, diversity leads to a stronger foundation. And that's the story that I'm interested in telling. And so again, as you said, like, there's only so much research you can do. I also don't think as much as this is a historical um, exploration of the black experience in America in the 1970s, it's not actual historical figures. That's not something I think I would feel comfortable doing as a white writer and director. I think it would be important for a specific story about a specific black historical figure to be told by a black storyteller. But I think in making up our characters and doing our due diligence and also knowing when to, to step back, um, it's something that's really important for white storytellers to explore and take a risk doing. Mm -hmm. Well, I've just found that right out of time, but I just wanted to say before I did go how fantastic this, the uh, the soundtrack was. Hearing a oh, refund is always, always, is always welcomed. <laughs> so thank thanks. You. And best of luck with the movie. Thank, so your fun today. thank, thank you. you. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.